Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's the 29th of November today and it's cold. It's one degree Celsius here in Kessingland. And over there, I've got a feeling that's going to be snow, maybe. It's cold enough for it. Skies are clear though. The bikes are out. Don't forget, if you've got a bike for sale, stick it on our website. We get 4,000 people look at our website every week, all wanting to buy a bicycle. So hopefully, hopefully yesterday's trek will be picked up today. Um, because the work's done on that one. And I'm now going to start work on a, um, on a lady's bike that got donated yesterday nice doors so I am going to get the kettle on get the heater on and get to work so we've had these gorgeous doors come in it's got 21 gears I believe 21 gears mud guards alley frame a rack it just needs a good service so that's my first job for today is to get this one sorted get the tires pumped up Though the sea is lovely. Someone will love this. So let's get into it. This one done the waiting um, it's just the way in it's um, it's been pressure washed so it's nice and clean and then um, this can go in the shop it's lovely it's original it works beautifully it's lovely really lovely aluminium frame 21 gears mud guards V brakes alloy wheels rack what more could you want it's lovely and a really low step through height as well so if you have mobility problems this could be the bike for you uh, just need to give it a good clean and then tidy it up a little bit and then that's ready for sale so I've just had an emergency job come in this brand new Trek FX2 and it got hit yesterday and the back wheel is slightly buckled so I'm going to sort that out for the customer so they can collect it today um, Get the wheel nicely tensioned hopefully the wheel wasn't over tensioned before um, it was put on sale and we've got a little bit of wiggle room so i'm going to get on with that one okay this is not easy to film but i hope you can see when i tighten up the jaws of the wheel turn jig so it's pulled over this way which is a good sign because that's the non-drive side of the wheel. So I'm hoping I'm going to be able to tighten that up. So I'm just going to get a pen. <coughs> I'm going to mark the spokes that I want to tighten. Good news because these spokes are quite loose. Okay. This is really, really difficult. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to. So now you notice it's not rubbing, which is amazing, but still not true. So by adjusting this dial, 
I'm bringing the jaws in closer. And now I can go around and take. The thing that's probably saved this wheel is the fact that it's a factory wheel and it hasn't had a lot of tension put into it already. Oh, we're getting close. So it's just quarter turns, just getting, getting it so that it runs as true as possible. And we are getting there, it's taking on that bit. So you can probably hear that noise. That's the sound of the rim rubbing against the stops. Very close. This back here is problem one I think. The one that don't make any noise, that's the side. video in this bit and then I will show you how we um, tension it. So the next job is to try and um, <coughs> pre-tension the wheel otherwise it'll go ting 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 Massive help this one because it's literally a brand new wheel. And new wheels, when they come out of the factory, they're not particularly well tensioned. So the softness of this, the softness of the wheel, The 
softness of the wheel and um, in terms of the spokes so the tensioning on the spokes um, isn't huge so it's um, so there's not a lot of tension so it's easy to manipulate it whereas if the bike had hand built wheels or indeed was a little bit more uh, expensive bike then um, it probably would have been uh, a longer job but fortunately there's a bit of give in the wheel if that makes sense so when it went out of true it was quite easy to pull it back into true so that's that job done so I'm gonna go for lunch in a bit but when I get back I'm gonna be working on this Amoco Madeira for a customer uh, it's got a flat back tire and needs a service Apparently there's some squeaking noises coming from the bearings um, that we need to sort out. Um, but I'll be working on this one this afternoon. So I'm now going for my lunch. I'll see you after I've warmed up and filled up with food. I'm back from lunch um, and I'm now going to focus on this Madeira Amico. Um, so customers given me a list of everything that's wrong with it. Um, Rear puncher, possibly a new tyre, I don't think it needs that. Um, sort the gears out. There's a horrible noise coming from the bottom bracket and anything else that's wrong. So I'm going to focus on doing that. I'll stick on time lapse and you can watch me do it. the Amoco out for a test ride it's been serviced I've replaced the tyre replaced the tube and give it a, a bronze service I can't find anything wrong with the bottom bracket um, I think it probably is the derailleur front derailleur not being moved enough when the gears are changed that makes that scraper noise that's what I think um, but I will educate the customer when I get here about how to use the gears properly so that hopefully that is eliminated but I've just took it for a ride and that's not doing anything that it shouldn't so I need to get this video made so a couple of things thank you to the new subscribers you're very welcome um, if you haven't subscribed yet and you've watched this video please consider cons uh, please consider subscribing um, we really appreciate it um, now you've got about 24 hours by the time this video goes out you've got about 24 hours to enter our contest our contest to win a cycling computer a 50 pound bicycle service and 10% off everything for 12 months that's an amazing prize it's free to enter just go onto our website click the link and um and you could be getting those amazing prizes so please 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 enter um because it could be you and you can't you've got to be in it to win it have a wonderful evening everybody thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow